A lot of organizations have a Steve. Steve went through an orientation that included cybersecurity issues. Steve watched all three videos in this series. For the most part, Steve is what you might call a digitally mature kind of fella. But Steve is that guy that's still going to be fooled into opening an email, clicking on a link, and entering personal information on a fake website. He's a great guy and all, but don't be like Steve. Be skeptical. Just because a correspondence is from somebody or some organization you know, doesn't mean that you're not being scammed. Get friendly with the delete key. If you're on the fence about whether or not to delete a suspicious looking email, you see that thing on your desk with all the flashing lights and the buttons? That's a phone. Use it. Call the sender to make sure what you just received is legitimate. Look for generic intros like Dear User or Dear Customer. Poor grammar and weird sentence structure. Now, not all phishing sounds like it was written by a five-year-old, but a lot of them make very obvious errors. Without clicking on the link in the email, I repeat, without clicking on the link, hover your mouse over it. This will show you where the link would take you if you did click it. If you have to, use a search engine like Google to look up the real website and compare. Even if it's only subtly different than the real organization's URL, don't click on it. Finally, only open attachments that you were expecting. Even if the subject line and sender seem to have a sensible request, err on the side of caution and remember rule number two, call senders to confirm. So if you think you've been a victim of a phishing attack, shut down your internet connection immediately. Whether you're hardwired in or you're using Wi-Fi, doing that could help prevent malware from spreading from device to device in your network. Save all sensitive data on an external hard drive if you weren't already doing that periodically. Go back, look at your online credentials, change them immediately from a safe device. Remember, it's easy to be fooled by phishing. Just don't double down on your mistake. If you clicked on a link you shouldn't have or you opened an attachment that you think might have been infected, contact your IT department immediately. They should have very specific steps for you to take in the event of a phishing attack. It's important to communicate with your team even if nothing appears to be wrong with your system immediately. Sometimes a successful hack is not necessarily readily apparent. Communicate any attempt at phishing with the appropriate personnel within your organization. TML Risk Pool has offered cyber liability coverage for a while now, but it's been part of different coverages. Now we offer a standalone package that covers you from two perspectives. First party protection ensures that you're covered in the event your system is held hostage and third party protection provides for notification and credit monitoring services if the personal identification information that your city collects is compromised. Obviously there's a lot more detail that goes into providing our members appropriate coverage but that's why we have an e-risk hub that's full of cyber liability resources and loss prevention representatives that are eager to help you out. Thanks for joining us on this cybersecurity edition of Safer in Seconds.